Hi everyone, welcome to RAT4 TV. Today we're going to talk to you about the RAT4 Sling. The RAT4 Sling is always ready. It's one of the most versatile and innovative rifle slings ever made. The RAT4 Sling is especially designed for tactical and precision sports shooters like yourself. For military and law enforcement professionals, to sport hunters, and to marksmen. Uh, it has universal applications, and what, one of the things we're going to try and do today is we're going to show you all the different variations of ways to use it. doesn't mean it's the right way to use it. You really have to decide on which way is comfortable for you, depending on the scenario that you're in. And we're going to show you about four different ways to use a sling effectively. The RAV4 sling is durable, lightweight, and comfortable. It's constructed of high-quality nylon and polymer plastic. The sling won't rust when it's used in inclement weather, and it's virtually silent when you're using it in stealth mode means when you're trying to hide and not give away your position yeah, because basically it's soft and won't rattle against metal and things like that. So, and again, we're going to show you a number of different ways to use it. And again, I want to emphasize that no way is the right way. It's really what's comfortable for you and, and it takes a little bit of working to get the right position for what you're comfortable with. Today we're going to show you basically how to attach your RAT4 sling to your rifle. Um, Generally, when you've got the RAV4 sling, it's going to come with two hooks at the end of it that are guarded here to provide a little bit of uh, cushion so it doesn't rattle when you make your attachments. Now, most RAV4 T68s, as other markers do, come with little uh, sling attachments. And they are the sling ring, they call them. And uh, those provide excellent points of attachment for your sling. However, there's one caveat here. And when you do make the attachments directly with the sling, that what tends to happen is that, uh, as in the heat of battle, you tend to use it and it gets all wrapped up and untangled and becomes pretty uncomfortable to wear. So what we provide along with the sling are two little twines of rope that really make a great idea in the fact that it's easily to attach and disattach even though you've got your hooks here. Um, but for example, if I just want to attach to the sling, wings, sling rings that are provided, uh, you just pr push it through the hole, knot it, and it's on, right there. Same with the back. You push it through the hole, bring it through like a rubber band, and knot it. And there you go. And now you have perfect attachments for the hook to go right in, and it also provides a great solution to untangling your strap really easily so it doesn't get all tangled up because it just basically goes with whatever the direction the rope is going. So that's a great solution. Um, now points you can attach these ropes to are often varied as well depending on what's comfortable for you. So some of the suggestions are um, rather than going with the sling rings is to attach it up here in the barrel. That's one great area. It's right up here in the front of the barrel makes it great. Say you've uh, removed your handrail and everything like that and you don't have any sling ring. This is another area that's really good for attachment of your sling. And uh, this point works well as well as the back right behind the handguard. If you've removed your handguard right above the magazine is also another good area to attach your attachment point once you get that on. Now if you have a uh, split fire, obviously the split fire uh, dial is right here, so that doesn't necessarily make it as great a, a point. Uh, you also have your handrail, which is also a good area to attach to right at the top. And for the back of your uh, marker, uh, you have your standard buttstock sling ring in the back, but also if that's don't have that, say you've got a larger CO2 tank in the back, another good area is right before the attachment point for the CO2 tank. And that's a pretty sturdy area, provides a really good area to latch onto, and with the larger uh, twine, it allows you to basically make a very good attachment point that will carry the marker really sturdily and give it a good swing for you to get into an aiming position. So. Those are good areas, and one other area, if you are carrying like an ASA with uh, a line going to your CO2 tank, another good area is right behind or right in front of that ASA right here at the grip. Now, some people don't like putting on the grip because it might be uncomfortable for them to hold on to. Um, one good area is right before that joint, 
right at the ASA. Um, generally, you know, it just depends on what works for you. And that's another good point to uh, put this little attachment point to. Um, so there you go. Now, to attach the sling to your marker, you want to have the end of the release of the sling towards the front of the rifle. So you see this little buckle here. This is your release, and we'll show you how to use this a little bit later. But this goes towards the front of the rifle. So you're going to make your attachment here with this little hook to the front, right here. And you've got a great little attachment. Now you don't want to have too much slack in this part to the front. Um, again, using the smaller twine to make that attachment, um, it's going to work pretty effectively. Now the back, I have made this little uh, adjustment right here to the back right before the uh, CO2 entry, and I'm going to take the back buckle and attach it right there. And there you go, and there you have a perfectly attached strap. Now where you're going to get into how it attaches, and there you go. This is a balanced sling. Okay, the first mode we're going to show you is the single point mode, and the way you set that up is you're going to take your sling, and you're going to hold it just like this, like a full circle, but you're going to put one arm down here and one arm up here, and then you're going to twist to a figure eight, like so and slip your arms through to you get to this point and then take the center cross and put it over the back of your head and then you're set to make an attachment to any point in the back of your rifle or your marker and once you get this little velcro piece back and you make your attachment you have made one single point mode access leaving your arms free to get to any access point on your second, your second firearm, uh, extra ammo, communications, anything else on your vest, uh, and still give you arms free to be ready to fire. And this is actually the, the most preferred method that I like um, because again your rifle's ready to go, all you do is pop your safety and you're ready to go and fire. And you really have your arm available or mostly support of your handguard. And then you're right down the alley of your aiming pin and ready to fire. So again, this is a great access point to drop and grab, hike a little bit, run. You have your firearm right to the side and you're ready to shoot in a moment's notice. Um, again, this is single point mode. Now some people can actually uh, run this to the end as well, giving you a little bit more length in there. Now that's obviously a little bit too, too much slack for myself, but again if you're a tall person and you want to have that extra slack, you can either put it through the end of the barrel here or through the, uh, the sling uh, hole that you have at the end of the buttstock. Um, again, I'm not a tall person, but uh, generally this one works the best for me. And again, whatever works for you is probably the best way. So there you go. Sand. And as you can see, the single point sling works for other types of markers as well. As you see, I got it connected to right before the ASA here on this uh, RAV4 Storm. And again, it's holding it pretty well, balanced. And when I need to grab for it, it's right then and there, ready to go.